Hello, my name is Chris Tani, and in today's video, uh, we will be reading uh, Genesis 37, verse 2 to 11. And the topic for today's video will be the spirit of discernment. How to have a discerning spirit of when to do the right thing. So, this we're, we're going to read Genesis 2, verse Genesis 37, verse 2 to 11, and it goes. This is the account of Jacob's family line. Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the flocks with his brothers, the sons of Bihal and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives, and he brought their father a bad report about them. Now, Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons, because he had been born to him in his old age, and he made an ornate robe for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. He said to them, Listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright, while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. His brothers said to him, do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said. Then he had another dream, and he told it to his brothers. Listen, he said, I had another dream, and this time the sun and moon and eleven stars were bowing down to me. When he told his fathers as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him and said, What is this dream you had? Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the ground before you? His brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. So in this scripture, while I'm shooting um, the topic of discernment, we see there are several things lacking concerning discernment in the scripture. One thing I always was worried about was Jacob and the state of his mind. Um, I always wondered, like, what the hell is wrong with him? Like, why do you have these sons, and this son is younger than all of them, and you're showing them, these older children, that this youngest ch child, Joseph, is the f clear favorite. That is one thing as a parent you never do. You never, even if you do have a favorite, you never show that you have a favorite. That's the wrong way to go. So that's one thing where we see that discernment is lacking in this family. So in, in verse 3 it says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he had been born to him in his old age. And it goes on to say, When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. So, think about it. You have your dad. It, this, it, you're the older brothers. Put yourself in their position. But he has a clear favorite. And, he, he, and he's reckless in showing that he has a clear favorite. So, and, and we see that he had bought him a coat of many colors. So, the first five it says... Joseph had a dream, and he and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him the more. He said to them, Listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field, when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright, while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. So basically in this dream, Joseph is trying to say that he is going to be in a position of power, according to this dream, where he will be like in a high position, and his brothers will basically be bowing down low before him as if maybe he's going to be promoted to a, 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 a great role in the society. And it goes to say in verse 8, His brother said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said. Okay, so the problem here, here, we see that Joseph doesn't know when to speak. He doesn't know when not to speak. He just says whatever comes out of his mind. And we see, how could he not be this way when his father has just gotten him a coat of many colors, that he's flaunting in front of the brothers, that he's acting like he's all that in front of the brothers. And he, 
he, he's basically telling his older brothers that they will bow down before him. That's a lack of discernment. And the brothers, we see that they, they hate him for it. They're very jealous. And in verse 9 it says, Then he had another dream, and he told it to his brothers. Listen, he said, I had another dream. And this time the sun and the moon and the eleven stars were bowing down to me. Okay, so in this dream again, he had a second premonition dream where he sees that, again, he's going to be promoted to a, a high role and his brothers and family will be bowing down to him in his high position. So we see that God favors him, the Father favors him, and it seems like an unfair situation to the brothers. But one thing that's most unfair is that it's not that he was given this great dream, it, and it's okay to dream, but the problem here is that he does not know his audience. His brothers do not care for him. It says so here that they hate him all the more because of his dream. And it also says in the end that his brothers were jealous of him. And, and they were jealous of him. Now, Joseph, it's either he doesn't want to see it or he's... he's, he's, he's fueling the fire to their jealousy. But one thing with the spirit of discernment you will find out is to never fan the flames of jealousy with anybody. Especially when you're the young and especially when you have a, a dream that's just coming up. You don't want to speak so much and talk so much about the dream because when you talk so much about something that's going to happen, especially when it's in like its infancy stages, it, it, you, you'll see that even though whatever you're destined to become, you will become. It just it would be better if you if you did not talk so much and you were just you did what you need to do to get to the dream. So we see later on on um, Genesis how the brothers sell Joseph and then they take the coat that the dad had, they take it off of him and they dip it in lamb's blood. And they tell the dad that a wild animal killed Joseph. And basically, Joseph is in captivity. He later goes into prison. And he goes through so much problems. And why is this? All because he didn't know when to, when to shut up, when to say things, and when not to say things. When to know if you have a good dream, not to speak it to people that hate you. Especially people that you, you know, his brothers, especially since he knew... Like his brothers didn't have any favor, favorite, favoritism towards him. He, he could sense that, I, I, I believe. But at 17, Joseph could not tell that there's certain things you're just not supposed to do. He seems like a very immature 17-year-old to me here. And so basically, to, to wrap this up, I just wanted to tell you that when you have a dream, it's best to keep it to yourself especially when it's in the beginning stages. It's not every time you have something, you want to just go and flaunt it and tell everybody what's going on with you or how you see yourself succeeding and you didn't even start yet. It's best to just work behind the scenes and when it comes to pass, people can see it from themselves and you don't have to keep talking about it. And lastly, um, it's good to know your audience. Certain people don't want good for you, even if they're your family, even if they're your brothers. You, your, your very own flesh and blood doesn't want to see good for you. So it's best to know when to talk and when not to talk because it could save you so much heartache. So through this story of Joseph in Genesis 37 verse 2 to 11, we see that there's a lack of discernment concerning Jacob and his son Joseph. And we see a lack of of sensitivity on both of their parts and as a result later on through Genesis we see how much Joseph suffers even though he does end up with the dream of ruling over his brothers but he, he goes through so much so much heartache so much pain that he did not have to go through if he had just had a spirit of discernment so that's today's video on having discernment and how to know when to do things and when not to do things thank you my name is Kristan